Good Friday morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to place Main Street Fire Rescue in service as of right now. Early morning. Well, not kind of early. It's about uh, 11, 11 o'clock. As you can tell by the Despicable Me banners behind me, I am here at the Universal uh, Cinemark here in City Walk. I came out this morning to see the long-awaited movie Twisters. Now, because of work and everything else going on, I wasn't able to get out here on opening day, which is fine, it's very busy. So, it's not busy now, and they got an 1120 matinee. And we're gonna take a look at this movie. I was a big fan of the original movie Twister back in, I think it was 1996. So almost, has it really been almost 30 years? Crap. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 30 years almost, 28 years. Uh, the new one, Twisters, plural, is out, and I can't wait to see it. I, uh, you know, I grew up in Indiana. I've never, you know, thank goodness, have been a part of a tornado. I've seen the funnel clouds hanging out of the sky, which is moderately terrifying, but yet also majestic at the same point. For those that have ever seen one or you know, been near one, it's hard to hard to look away. There, it's an awe and a wonder of nature of how that happens. So I've heard lots of good things about this movie. Even the uh, Storm Chaser that's really famous on YouTube, Reed Timmer, has said that this is a fantastic movie and the CGI apparently is just as good as the real thing. So I'm excited to see it. So we're gonna take a walk around a little bit. I got, like I said, I got a few minutes for that go in and see this thing. And then we'll give you an update on it and see what I thought. Uh, one other thing, welcome to opening day of the 2024 Olympics. Hard to believe we're already here. Uh, it's going to be out in Paris this year, and apparently the grand or the opening ceremonies are going to be. It's one of the first times in Olympic history that the opening ceremonies won't be presented in a stadium. I also want to congratulate all the athletes from the United States and around the world at just making it to this point. What an accomplishment, you know. Uh, you know, winning a gold medal is one thing, but just getting to this stage is a whole nother uh, it's a it's incredible so congratulations and good luck to all the athletes let's go team usa we'll be cheering everybody on and i uh, can't wait to see what the 2024 olympics bring us so without wasting any more time let's get our ass in gear now let's go see twisters but first like i said i got a few minutes so i'm gonna we'll check some park updates real quick also after the movie we're gonna go into universal and check out dreamworks land finally <laughs> It's only been open almost two months, so about time I get in there and see it. Welcome to the Universal Cinemark Theater. This place is incredible. It's so big. So we're actually going to Theater 20. Very excited to see this movie. There's a couple others I want to see before they leave the theater. Is um, Bad Boys Ride or Die. I'm a big fan of that franchise. The, the last installment of Bad Boys really took me by surprise with some of the stuff that went on. So I'm very curious as to how uh, Ride or Die is going to be. Looking for Theater 20. And it's great because there's like three or four people in there. going this way but got to get the got to get the movie photo the movie poster right here this is another good one up ahead that trap that looks really interesting and M. Night Shyamalan has some pretty intense uh, movies as well there's old school right there anybody remember this one Heck yeah, that was a great movie. Men in Tights was also good. <laughs> the the, uh, the uh, knockoff to that. Oh, here we are. Here's, they got a bunch of old school movie posters in here. The theater that these posters are against are is the XD theater. You can hear it. All right, let's get going. Here we are. Let's go see what we got. Point break with jokes. We'll make it funny at Rip Tracks Live. John Wick's pathetic early days. Yeah! In theaters nationwide. Yeah. 
How nice is this? This is gonna be home for the next two hours right here. Fantastic. This is what I love about these chairs here at Universal. Just push the buttons and okay. out we go. I've got this now. Universal, man, you did it again. And Spielberg, my God. We're gonna talk about it in a minute. Oh, man, unbelievable. There he is, the old Duke himself, John Wayne. Hey, look at this place. It's amazing. And back out into the sauna. All right, let's go find a place so we can talk for a minute. Well, absolutely fantastic movie. I'm going to I'm going to say this and I mean every bit of it. That's better than the original Twister. Not by much, but the the storyline is absolutely incredible. I'm not going to ruin it for anybody that still has yet to see it, but um, it is very intense. It actually has a lot of science in it. Some things that really make you think and go, you know, I wonder if that's possible. You know, if this could be actually be done. And I'm going to say, I'm going to add on to what a lot of other people have said. It is nice to see a movie about storms where nobody preaches climate change it's just an entertaining movie it's entertaining it's very entertaining it's got a fantastic storyline everything about it is just absolutely amazing and one thing i have to laugh at is one of the things they in the in the beginning they kind of poke fun at a lot of the storm chasers these uh youtube storm chasers because that's become a big thing lately. If you type in tornado chasing or storm chasing on YouTube, oh my gosh, it's, they're everywhere. And they they just blank. Anytime there's a storm moving in, they just all kind of travel in packs. Reed Timmer was kind of the original, I think, that started that. And then the, a bunch of others have picked up on it. And they are, they, they do, they travel in, in hordes, you know, to go storm chasing out in the, in the central plains. And anywhere there's going to be bad weather, hell, they've even shown up in Florida down here. You know, if we get a bad storm or hurricane coming, to, you know, because hurricanes and tropical storms are prime tornado producers. Nothing big, but usually they could drop a, you know, water spot over the ocean or an EF1, EF2 real quick, which is why it makes them so dangerous. But um, it was such a great movie. I, I, I will own that when it comes out. You know, I'll buy it. it it's that good. Uh, great storyline, great everything. If you love the first movie, you're gonna really love this one. And like I said, I'm gonna say it one more time. It's nice to watch a movie about weather, like tornadoes and that, where they don't go climate change preaching to everybody about climate change, this, that. They just made a movie and entertain people, and I love it for that. Now, since we're here at Universal, I'm gonna show you where the iconic Twister attraction used to be, which was based off the original movie, which people, people including me, are still bitter that they got rid of that, that attraction. It was a great attraction. To get rid of that and put in that damn Jimmy Fallon ride, horrible. But it is what it is. Well, we'll show you where that was, and we're gonna go check out DreamWorks Land while we're here. So, once again, fantastic, fantastic movie. Five stars for me all the way across. Five out of five. Oh, and you know, when you see the emergency uh, responders in some of the clips, um, again, I haven't responded to any actual tornadoes, uh, but we've been called out, you know, after hurricanes, after some pretty significant severe weather, flash floods, you name it. And uh, I, I, I can very much remember what it was like going through that wreckage like that and trying to help people especially after hurricane matthew you know going through people's homes and making sure they're okay uh, i mean it cutting trees away so people could you know get through safely i mean i've done a lot of storm detail in my career and uh yeah a lot of people will come in and help us that, that does happen these storm chasers the one thing i will say is a lot of people will think they're they're annoying but a lot of them will come in and help the local emergency departments and help people out, which is fantastic. So thank you to all of you, first responders, 
military, police, fire, rescue, everybody that helps out when these storms hit. Thank you all very much. From one first responder to you all, much appreciated. So this is NBC Sports Grill Brew that I'm right underneath. They actually have some of the coverage on the Olympics. This is pretty neat right here. And the parade of nations continues along. Bangladesh comes down the Rasen next. This is the eighth most populous country in the That's world. very cool. Oh, actually, there it is. There's the opening ceremonies right there. The most populous nation never to have won an Olympic medal. So maybe that changes here. That is really cool. This year it happens. Yeah, one of the things they changed during for the opening ceremonies, they're bringing everybody in boats down the river in Paris. That's really cool. They have the Olympic banner up for Paris. And what's wild to think about is when that banner comes down, it'll be time for Halloween Horror Nights. And then right after that, Christmas. <laughs> wow, years flying by, I'll tell you. Along with uh, checking out DreamWorks Land today, we're gonna also see if we can find some Halloween Horror Nights construction updates. As we are almost a month away, a month and maybe two or three days. The In Music Plaza here underneath the Rip Ride Rocket, they have another Olympics display there showing off the opening ceremonies, as well as they got some really nice backdrops here. Here we are, first stop, going through the Central Park area. This is always one of the premier scare zones because they can make it nice and dark and foggy in here. Oh yeah, we got some lighting trusses. Very curious as to what this is going to be. Wow, I got a lot of lighting down here, that's for sure. It's definitely a stage. This is definitely going to be like a creepy forest area. You can definitely see that coming. Maybe a swamp? Possibly a swamp? Here we are. Wow, this is all changed. So the, the Woody Woodpecker uh, yeah, cafe thingy has been repainted to the DreamWorks Imagination Cafe. I do like the new ET signage. That's pretty neat. And here we are, DreamWorks Land. All right, I know I'm only about two months late, but better late than never, right? So this is Shrek Swamp Meat right here. You can meet the man himself and donkey. Ah, lots of water. Water works. Perfect for a day like today, I'll tell you that. This is the one I've seen on various YouTube channels. I wanted to check this out. This is Mama Luna's cat house. And it's an interactive exhibit with cats. So there's all these interactive exhibits here and you can push buttons and things like this. Let's see. <laughs> okay. So every time you push this button that little that little uh, carousel thing goes around. There's a bell in the middle. I Oh, I think that's back there. This is hilarious. So you can you can spin this and plays the piano. <laughs> oh, and that controls the the yarn ball of yarn. That looks like Maverick sitting over there. Yeah, it's definitely Maverick. There's the old troller coaster. That was Woody Woodpecker's the Woody Woodpecker Express. Okay, we got a little playground here. This fountain here was the old Barney fountain. Right here. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Hey, 
It looks less creepy. Although I probably can say that at nighttime, if they run Halloween Horror Nights, the haunted house lines through here and have this very dimly lit, yeah, I'd probably have the same creepy feeling. <laughs> and then we have Imagination Celebration, which was the Barney Theater. They got quite a few show times. When it cools down a little bit, we'll come in and spend a little more time here. I'm just kind of giving a little once over here. So you got 25 minutes for the troller coaster. That's a decent wait for this. And this was the old Curious George uh, play area, which is now Poe's Kung Fu Training Camp. Let's go check this out. So this, so this was a, uh, this was a giant water play area, and yeah, it looks like they kept it. <laughs> oh yeah. So this one's not running today, but you have to pond a perpetual wetness. Yeah, this was brilliant for Universal to do this, keep all of the water effects out here, because it is hot. Um, you can ring the gong. Oh, check this out. This used to be the uh, water play structure for Curious George, and it was actually on the other side as well. It looks like they just kept this side, but still, you can come through here and uh, cool off on a nice hot day. It looks like they actually made the bucket a lot bigger. And right where that platform is, right there, you used to be able to stand on there. And then it would, <laughs> if you were up there when that bucket came down, you were getting wet. But this one here, man, this, this looks pretty good. Let's, let's see if we can catch a full one. This is the old ball pit. The stairs used to be over here and on all corners and over. You can see the old stairs over there. And you used to be able to fire uh, Nerf balls through here. They had a giant machine in the middle where they all went into. And that was a cool thing. Like the balcony is still here. But they took all the all the guns out, all the cannons out. So now it's an interactive Poe show. I wonder how often that show goes. You want a good way to cool off on a hot day, just wait for that that bucket to tip over. I'm gonna guess that's probably the warning signal. <laughs> yep. Incoming. Oh man, <laughs> look out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. And on the way out, we got a nice little climbing area here, which took the place of the old uh, Fievel's American Tail water slide. That was a pretty cool thing. So this has these little lily pads on. You step on them and they all make some noise here. Like this one right here. <laughs> what the heck was that? That was like, oh! Sounds like Maverick when he's hungry. That would be hilarious to get a bunch of people and just jump on those all at the same time. Try to find a little bit more Horror Nights stuff and then I think we're going to pack it in and go sit by the pool for a while. Feels like right now, the actual 95 feels like 108. Heck yeah. You want the best AC in the entire theme park industry? Right here, Men in Black. I mean, it's so cold I can feel it right here out, outside. It's fantastic. And right where these gates are, there's usually a uh, entryway into the haunted house. And this is also where they're usually going to have a stage show in the old Fear Factor Pavilion. 
actually <laughs> you can tell they're getting ready there's the uh the signage poles right there here we are coming up on another scare zone this one's actually got quite a bit up here i'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is going to be a Blumhouse Productions area. That's definitely the logo. If you haven't seen any movies by them, they are all insanely creepy. They do a good job, I will say that, but man, are they, they put out creepy movies. Here we are. They usually always have a good scare zone in here. And right here, they got some lights strung up across the street. Looks like this is gonna be maybe, they almost look like carnival lights. If I had to guess, maybe some kind of creepy carnival theme. You see all the lights on top of the, of the buildings and everything, yeah. This is another one that's usually a really good scare zone. One of the first Halloween Horror Nights I ever went to, 2014, Halloween Horror Nights 23, they had the purge scare zone right here. That one was fantastic. They even had all of the street signs out. They had they had everything. It was really, really good. Right here, one year. One year, I forget which year it was. Might have been Horror Nights 25, maybe. The Tim Tracker had a very famous line. One of the uh Tim Tracker obviously is probably one of the original Orlando theme park YouTubers. And he came here. Right after Halloween, it was like maybe November 7th or 8th, and he said, isn't this interesting? Like three or four days ago, there was a flaming gazebo here for Halloween Horror Nights. There's, now there's a majestic Christmas tree. And before we leave the park, I can't not, not mention one of the greatest ride slash shows they had at Universal here. This was the Twister Ride It Out ride before it became this abomination. And it was a fantastic experience. Basically, uh, it was like going onto the Twister movie set, and the theming was absolutely incredible. Um, and then they brought you into the the show area where it was. They recreated the drive-in movie scene, and they actually formed a tornado right in front of you, using movie technology and special effects and everything and destroyed the whole set. It was really good. Anybody that remembers Twister knows what I'm talking about, but this is right where it's at. It doesn't matter. And the sign for Twister Ride It Out was right here on the corner, and it had a little bit of smoke coming out of it, and then right down here, where the Tonight Shop is, used to be the shop called Aftermath, which a lot of people thought it was, because it used to say Twister, and then Ride It Out, and then Aftermath, so some people thought it was Twister Ride It Out Aftermath. But no, it was Twister, ride it out and then the gift shop's name was aftermath but that that's the whole building right there that whole building used to be the twister uh, show and obviously here in the main entryway nothing quite yet nothing yet but this is also usually a pretty pretty good scare zone here going through the gift shop i couldn't help but notice some of the new minions emerged from the new movie uh, despicable me four there's the mega minions <laughs> I like that one too. Hello. Very cool. Oh, there's the transformation chamber where they turned into the Mega Minions. That was a fantastic movie. It's actually been a great uh, summer for movies. I will tell you that. Heading out of the park, I just thought of something. Next year, at some point, at some point, we'll be walking through the new Epic Universe arches into a brand new theme park. Very excited for that. Look at Team USA, the Huey There's USA. Oh, I can't wait. Football's about a month away, too. They really need to teach people about these moving walkways. You're supposed to walk. What's up, everybody? 
yeah it's a little dark um i was uh going throughout the day and got distracted and forgot that i didn't do an outro for the um the earlier vlog today with the twister movie and walking around universal and everything i just got i got going and i was going to do it in the car when i got back but since they parked us on the roof of the parking garage it was about 150 in the car and i was didn't want to wait for it to cool off because i wanted to get ahead of the friday afternoon traffic and I got home, and then the Olympics uh, opening ceremonies were on, and it, it just, yeah, the day got away from me. So I came out to Hollywood Studios to do a vlog, but that just kind of came unwound, so I'm not going to bother with that. But I thought, well, let's get this outro filmed here, and uh, so I can get this vlog put together. But it was a good time at Universal. Twisters was fantastic. Anybody that loved the first one, even if you didn't see the first one, you could see this one. You really don't... That, there's some neat little tie-ins here and there, but it's not like you have to see the first one to make sense of this one. It's really cool. I like the way they did that. Um, it's neat seeing all of the uh, Olympic decorations set up around Universal, and uh, DreamWorks Land was fantastic. It's a really cool place, you know? Uh, they did that right with all the theming. It's perfect for kids and adults. Again, lots of places to get wet on a hot summer day in Florida. And it's just very well done. You know, just just that is a little taste, a little bit, a little sample of what Epic Universe is about to bring us. And I cannot wait for that. So I wish you all a good evening. Have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you all tomorrow. We've got some more things planned. Uh, we're just going to keep on rolling. Have a good evening, everybody. Main Street Fire Rescue out of service. As always, this has been The Truth. Oh, it's been actual, and I hope for everybody out there watching, it's been mighty satisfactual. See you, everybody.